Good morning from Pristina, Kosovo. Unfortunately, it's our last day in Pristina. We are checking out from City Inn Hotel. Like we said before, if you are staying in Pristina, this is the place to stay right next to the main boulevard. Amazing room, great Wi-Fi, very COVID secure. Have I missed anything, Molly? Great breakfast. Gra Great breakfast. I can't even yeah. see you're hiding there behind me. Oh, Molly is packing, um, but we're actually heading to the third biggest city in Kosovo, the city of Jilja. You probably haven't heard of that. A lot of people mainly do Pristina and Prizren, but we wanted to see everything this country has to offer. We're actually staying about three miles outside of the main city in like our own private resort in a valley in the countryside. We're very excited to go there and show you what it's like. We're actually getting a taxi to Jilan because with the buses and with this hotel being outside of the city, it would mean we would be getting the bus to Jilan and then we would have to organize a way from getting there and back. Um, it would so take too long, we need a bus, we need to get a taxi from here to the bus station, Yeah. bus from here to Jilan, yeah. then taxi from Jilan to hotel. And also we want to get to the hotel and see what they have straight away, the we want to save time. Huge. The grounds look huge, so we want as much time as possible there. But I'm so excited to check out somewhere new. If you are new here and you don't really know what we're doing, then we are actually doing a whole route of Kosovo, starting in Pristina and doing a big circle like this. The so whole way around the country, every can, city ticked. Every, well, every big city that we can manage, we will tick. So you can watch us just go from start to finish in a full circle. Thank you very much. Take care. And we are in the taxi. It's actually really sad checking out of City in Pristina. They even give Molly like a Halloween umbrella to take <laughs> away. So if we have any rain while we're in Kosovo, we are sorted. It's now about a 45 minute drive, about three miles outside the city of Julian. We're just leaving Pristina now. Um, shouldn't be too much traffic. I'm just really excited because I don't know what to expect here. Thank you so much. And we have made it to Resort Planet. Gilia. So it's about three miles outside of the town. We came through the city on the way here, but the grounds here look massive. I can't wait to show you. If you want to get a taxi, I'd highly recommend Blue Taxi. They are so reliable, really good price, and they can take you into cities because the buses are a bit of a hassle, but we need to check in and check this place out. Thank you. Welcome to our resort. Let me just shut the door behind you. This place is crazy i actually cannot wait to do the tour of the grounds but let me just tour you of our room first things first Flat huge screen. telly then we have bed number one matt's going to be sleeping here if he annoys oh, me oh no i'm in that either way <laughs> I, I have to sleep in a bed with the tv on so you're you do. Your tonight we have a huge wardrobe over there i love this feature mm -hmm. i love having a sofa and table there good space to work massive double bed yet again loving the decor as well my turn Bathroom, I always do the bathroom. Really nice sink, or oh, I like the LED light, is it? Or oh, like that. In your Toilet, huge, huge, huge shower. shower. Oh. But let me show you something that was a huge surprise to us. I'm Where following you. Into the wall. Whoa. Look at this. This in is space. humongous. What? It looks as though everyone on the first floor has a big balcony like this, but you have a view. You've got the mountains over there, mountains there, and right over there is the other side of this resort. I'm excited to explore it all. It's huge. The it's grounds massive. here are massive. So, quick glass of complimentary water. I don't know why. We haven't been getting many complimentary waters, so I'm happy with that because I need to stay hydrated. And then we're going to do a tour of the grounds, which I'm really excited about. I don't know mean, how many hectares do you reckon it is? Should I find out? No, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll find out on the tour. Let's, let's, let's not spoil everything too early. But anyway, I'm going to have this check out the grounds they even have like walking trails throughout the mountains here so might be a bit of walking they also have amazing traditional albanian food so we should be having some lunch some dinner some breakfast i don't even know if we're going to see the town of julian this is what we wanted to come here for this place resorts planet itself we are starting the tour and i can't believe how much land there is like despite the fact that there is so much land within the grounds they actually own land outside of where everything is built which is crazy i wish i could show you everything but first things first this area here used to be how many years ago did you say 17 17 years ago was just a pizzeria how it has expanded is unreal if you are from Julian or have ever been to Julian, type it in on instagram right put in Julian and then look at the location and then look at the photos that are taken 
in Gillian. This love sign, it will be number one. They would love this thing in Asia. So when you're walking around, you're gonna notice that there's so many new things being added. And I love that about this place. There's ne they, never, they never think it's perfection. They're always looking for that extra something to add something, to improve it, to take it to the next level, which is incredible. Because right here, this is where the restaurant stood. But now the restaurant, look at the size of it, Molly. It's beautiful and so big and you wouldn't believe it, but they're actually extending even more of the restaurant. It is just gonna be even bigger. They've actually got a big planet here. Obviously, our planet, isn't it? It, it, reminds is, it me... would be our planet, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Disneyland or like mm -hmm. Warner Brothers. They have yeah, yeah. a big world there, but this one's rose gold metal and takes center stage the main part. Then the main part, but we're actually gonna, we're gonna take you to the restaurant in a minute because we're actually gonna go take you to the residences that sit behind all of this. Yeah, when we tell you this place is huge, this place is huge. And this is where we, uh, we end the tour because we're gonna drop Molly off for the day. You're gonna come and meet us in a little bit. We're gonna drop you off in the kids' play area. You've been horrible to me. And we'll go and look at the houses. <laughs> I love this, to get over to the residences. You've actually got across a bridge. There's a small, is it a river or a stream? A small stream that goes, has it got a name? We, we'll make up a name. There's a stream that leads over, <laughs> Planet Stream, and it leads over to the residences here. Seriously, if you're looking to buy a property in Kosovo, these are incredible. They're like houses stroke villas. There are 56 villas slash houses here and most of them have actually been sold they've been sold for people to be like holiday homes or holiday villas which is such a nice idea holiday villa in the mountain they even have zebra crossing, zebra crossing. It, it is it isn't just like houses in the middle of nowhere this is like a proper neighborhood, neighborhood yeah it should really have its own i think it'll probably does it have its own street name uh, planet residence planet, planet <laughs> residence planet <laughs> street this is oh molly are we buying one i think we could be is there one left yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a new one for you we'll make a new yes. one you have, have to be a small one that's really cheap <laughs> right here behind the properties they're also thinking of adding well they are adding a path that's going to go all the way eight kilometers around the mountains behind me and then hope to put a little restaurant up here as well tour done and we have picked out the exact house that we would like um, but all jokes aside there is a main reason why people come to Resort Planet and that is their restaurant. I'm currently crossing their little bridge with the water fountain which is so cute but their restaurant is so so popular and we're about to find out why. This is already my favourite. The Look at this, the water feature that runs either side of the outdoor area of the restaurant. Like, imagine that in the summer even right now sitting there and having a beer. This outside spot is just so nice. I just love the artificial, artificial, I'm gonna call it like a little stream as well that runs through here. Um, we're gonna have lunch soon, which I'm so excited to have because the food here is meant to be incredible. We're first gonna have a look inside the inside of the restaurant. I think as it's sunny, I'm gonna eat out here, but for dinner, we'll probably be inside. We actually haven't closed at all in 17 years, apart from the three months because of the pandemic. It just shows you the commitment here and what coronavirus can do. Wow, look at this place. It is huge. We won't go into too much detail because we'll show you more later, but this is incredible. I love the ropes with the hanging lights, all the wood, the high ceilings. The wood here is actually traditional wood and it's been, it's 500 year old wood. Yeah, it's crazy. How can wood be that old? We'll actually show you more of the restaurant and the inside of the restaurant in a special food video that we are filming later. Being that this place does some of the best traditional restaurant in all of Kosovo, we feel we feel it deserves one of its own, but we are gonna have lunch now, so we'll show you lunch. A light lunch, because what we're gonna eat later will be a lot. I just can't believe the way they've designed it in here. They've combined the old fashioned look with modernness, which is very, very hard to achieve, but they've done that here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. And now we are sat down and I have 
Uh, my second. Gazor. Christina, Gazor. So nice, ice cold, sitting out here. We've got the little stream, sort of water feature next to us. You really feel like you are in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's so nice. Right, to start, we've got a salad and these, they're like, like a cornbread muffin. Look, see that? The texture is really... Muffiny. Oh yeah, it's like crispy on the outside. Mmm. That's so good. Crispy on the outside, it really is like a muffin. And then soft in the inside. Cornbread tastes so nice as well, doesn't mm -hmm. it? That maybe with a bit of cheese, which I've actually got here in the salad, perfectly. It's your first time eating a salad as well. Yeah, I know, I'm a, I'm a salad, dod <laughs> salad dodger. <laughs> with a bit of the cheese. Is that how you would eat it? Would you eat it with cheese? No, we actually do without cheese. Ah. Mm. The English way, that is. <laughs> We have Pogoc Makaima. Yes, I've got it. And it is, it looks like a pizza. It gets sliced like a pizza, but it's not a pizza. Different type of cheese. Different types of cheese. Uh, the bread is layered. similar. If you look, it's actually layered. Layered, cheese. and you've got red peppers and green peppers on there. It smells so cheesy, like so good. Can I bite it already? You always want permission. Hmm. <laughs> That's like, we're going to wow. call it the Kosovan pizza. I can't describe it, but it's got the texture of mozzarella where it's like stringy, but the taste of it is like halloumi with feta. It's like a salty cheese, bit crumbly. Very, very nice. Now this, this is the difference. This is a pizza. This is your typical, I'm going to go straight in with my hands. This is the planet pizza and you can see the difference. It's slightly thinner. If you can see, you've also got the tomato base on your typical pizza. This is a lot thicker. A little bit more char grilled, crispier, and then this will be a thinner base, obviously with your meat and your toppings in a pizza. I think this one comes with ham, pepperoni, mushrooms, peppers. It looks really good. Mm. <laughs> the best. Mm. A little bit spicy. Mm. I think it's spicy pepperoni. Kosovan pizza. That's yeah, what you're going to call bit... it now, isn't it? Yeah, the Kosovan pizza. you can't pizza. remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, much thicker. Doesn't have the tomato. It's a bit fluffier. Isn't yeah, it? definitely fluffier and a lot cheesier. I really like it. Beer and pizza. What more can you want? Gazor. Gazor. Wow. The food was incredible. It's like they read our minds. Pizza and beer. We didn't want to have anything too traditional because we're actually shooting a special food vlog with the place here tonight for dinner. So stay tuned for that. That will be our next video. Um, but they're actually going to show us now. They have got a new addition to the restaurant. They're basically building an extension, which is crazy. So we're going to go and check that out. So if you thought the restaurant wasn't big enough already, we've come through here and they're adding all this area onto the restaurant to add it for extra areas for like smoked beef, smoked meats. It's incredible. And this here, right? That is literally, behind that is the restaurant and you can't hear a thing. They've put like soundproof materials in. You can't hear anything. And you can see, this is again, the old 500 year old wood that they're using as the basis. It's gonna be the same design completely. As well as that extension that we've just shown you that they're building, they are building this. Look, it looks like, it looks a bit like a pagoda, but it's a tower. And this is brand new. You would look at that and say that this is like really old ancient building, but I love the style that they've built it. And it's actually gonna be a gift shop. And at the top, they're gonna have special restaurants that you can go in um, and have like a special anniversary dinner, which is a really nice touch. I actually cannot believe the grounds here. This is the reason that we decided to stay outside the city of Julian and come to Resort Planet rather than stay in the city because on this trip around Kosovo we're going to be seeing a lot of different cities we wanted to see something a little bit different and this place definitely definitely has it we've just got a lot of planning now to do tonight um you'll see this video in a couple of weeks but we've just found out that the president or the prime minister of Kosovo has stepped down or has been removed um, and there's talk that there might be a new lockdown so we're planning our trip this evening um, we're hoping that we can continue traveling and there isn't a full lockdown. We're actually gonna skip the next destination of Ferrizai. It's actually quite awkward for us to get to at the moment and we're gonna head straight to Prizren, I believe, because um, we need to get as much done before this lockdown comes. Hopefully the lockdown doesn't come. Um, but absolutely love Gillian, love the grounds here at Resort Planet and we'll see you in the next one.